This is the video tutorial to accompany my Morvoran wrap pattern for this central brioche section, which is worked in a one pass um, brioche method and it's also syncopated. So the dominant color that's used for the knit stitches changes um, within the row. So I've just prepared this um, little uh, swatch to show you the technique and how I manage the two colors. And I've just worked a few plain rows in order to establish the um, the columns of knit stitches so you can see clearly where the where the dominant color changes within a row. So at the beginning of the row, I just have um, a few plain knit stitches here, um, just as a sort of salvage. So I'm just going to work those up until the point where I reach the brioche section, which is here. And then now I'm going to pick up the um, colour B, which is my gold colour, and I'm just going to pick that up underneath the colour A working yarn, just to twist it so that I don't end up with a gap. And I'm going to bring it to the front. And I'm also going to bring um, both colours to the front, and you can see that one is stranded behind the other. Then the way I found easiest to work um, with these two colours is by holding the yarn that's used to purl in my left hand and the yarn that's used to knit in my right hand. So obviously if you, and I normally, uh, I normally throw when I knit, so if you normally knit continental or in a different method then um, then obviously you may need to play around with finding the comfortable way for you to handle both the yarns but I'm just going to show you how I uh, found that I got quite into quite a good rhythm with. So having twisted the yarns and brought both yarns to the front I'm now going to purl with that yellow colour and because my um, my colour A is at the front of the work that will mean that I create the yarn over needed with this colour when I work the next stitch. So I'm going to move that colour B out of the front by just levering it out of the way of my finger and I'm going to insert the needle to knit for the next stitch and as I bring that colour over to the back of the work to create the knit stitch that's created the yarn over here. And then as I bring this stitch off the needle I'm going to bring colour B, the yellow colour, over the top and that's created that that yarn over. Let me just fix my hold my tension a bit better now. So that creates the yarn over and I bring that back to the front and I bring this colour back to the front as well. So let's do that again. That's this is colour this is going to be a colour B knit uh, pearl stitch, sorry. So I pearl and then make sure that this is to, to the front out of the way, insert the needle in for the next knit stitch. And that's created my yarn over. And then as I say, as I start to bring that stitch out, as I start to bring that stitch out, then I bring that colour over the top. Bring it forward again, bring the other one forward, purl, knit, purl. Knit, pearl, knit, and now we come up to where the colour changes. So this is my last colour B pearl stitch and you can see the next column is knit stitch so we're maintaining the knit pearl rhythm but it's a colour B knit stitch so this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the pearl but leave this colour at the back of the work and create my yarn over in colour A and then I drop my yarns swap them over so as I said before I, I decided that it worked out best for me to hold uh, hold the pearl colour in my left hand and the knit colour in my right hand. So I've just swapped them over. They haven't twisted at all. I just dropped I dropped um, colour B at the back when I finished the pearl stitch and I just brought colour A over the top and around to the front so that I've got that, that yarn over. 
And now we carry on with exactly the same rhythm, but the colors are just reversed. Oops. just working exactly the same and then that was the last brioche stitch so i'm just going to drop that that color at the back of the work don't forget my last yarn over and again i just have a few selvage stitches in the one color which are just plain stitches i'm working here right so that was the right side of the work so now we can turn around and wipe the wrong side So again, I'm just going to have some oops, plain stitches, which I'm just going to work as pearls on this side. Which for some reason I'm struggling to work more than the brioche stitches. <laughs> Right, here we go. So we've got to the beginning of the brioche section. So what I'm going to do is similar to what we did before. I'm going to pick up colour A from underneath and take that to the front of the work because the first stitch is going to be a knit stitch in colour A. And again, holding the purling yarn in my left hand and the knitting yarn in my right hand, we follow exactly the same rhythm as before. So you can see that when you get used to this, you don't have to, um, you don't have to pull your yarn, your purling yarn, way out of the way. You can you can just kind of keep it as long as you go between that yarn, put the needle into the stitch between that yarn and the stitch. You don't really need to, you know, drastically lever it out of the way when you're doing that. And again, here we've got to the point of change. So I'm just going to drop. Um, drop that yarn at the front of the work, complete my last yarn over with that colour and swap hands again. Purling yarn in the left hand and knitting yarn in the right hand and carry on for the rest of the brioche section. And when we get to the end of this section, we need both the yarns on this side. So we complete, complete the yarn over by bringing that yarn over into the back. And then we also bring this color to the back because we don't want to leave that on the front of the work because we will um, end up with a twist when we don't want one. And again, I'm just going to complete my last few um, selvage stitches there. And then what we'll do on this row is I'll show you how to work the decreases and increases. Um, this pattern only uses one type of decrease and one type of increase. So again, I'm going to pick up the gold from underneath, bring both yarns to the front. Sort out my tension in a minute. Get myself some yarn to work with. So let's work a few plain columns first. Oops. 
and then let's do the decrease over this next uh from starting from this next column so the decrease i use so that was the last pearl stitch i'm going to work and i'm going to decrease so that these three stitches become one so what i'm going to do first of all is slip that one knitwise with its yarn over then I'm going to knit and you will bring in your yarn all the way from over here because you still need to create this yarn over for this pearl stitch and that's fine. So I'm going to knit that central stitch which is a pearl column but that doesn't matter. Then I'm going to lift that slipped and its yarn over over the top. This one comes back to this needle and the next column of knit stitches gets slipped over it. And then the whole stitch comes back to this needle and I just give it a little tug to tighten up so that you don't end up with too much looseness going on among all these stitches. And then we obviously still need to give that stitch its yarn over. So I just bring that over, bring this back to the front, pick up this yarn in my left hand again. And that was a decrease. And now we can carry on. So let's carry on past the change point. Oops, missed my yarn over. So here we're changing colours again. So I finish my yarn over with that colour. Take this one to the back. Pick up that one in my left hand. And we work a knit in the gold. Let's do... Sort the tension out. Let's do a couple more... like this and then we'll do one more pearl and then we'll do the yarn, the um, increased stitch into this knit stitch so again make sure that your um your pearl color is out of the way insert into the knit stitch but don't take it off yet bring the pearl color around the needle there so that's my first knit this loop here is my first knit i'm going to take that over so that gives that knit stitch its yarn over. Um, and then we need to bring this yarn to the front to create a yarn over. And then we increase, we put the um, needle back in to work another knit stitch. And again, make sure you bring this yarn back over to create a yarn over. So let me just pull the needle out and I'll show you all that again. So, we have the pearl color to the front out of the way. We insert the needle for a knit, but don't slip it off. Bring your pearl color over to create the first knit stitch with its wrap and bring it back out of the way bring your knit color to the front of the needle as well that's your yarn over increase in the middle of the stitch and then put the needle tip back in to create another knit stitch and again bring your pearl color back over so what we have now is we have a knit stitch with its yarn over we have a gold yarn over increase on its own that will become a proper brioche stitch on the next row and then we have another knit stitch with its yarn over all into the same stitch and just be careful not to lose that last yarn over and then we drop everything off the needle bring that to the front and work the next purl stitch as normal carry on to the end of the row and I'll show you how we uh, incorporate that increase on the following row. Make sure that yarn goes to the back, yarn over the last st stitch, and I'll just work my little selvage stitches.
So again, picking up the color that was dropped from underneath and then take it to the front to knit. And we'll just work normally up until the point of that increase. Which is coming up. So we have a pearl stitch. And then here we've got our increase. So we've got... Oops, and we seem to have dropped the yarn over on that last one. So let's just pick that back up. So we have... Um, they can be bunched together, so it's a little bit difficult to say, but you've got one knit stitch there. Um, well, it'll be a pearl on this side. And then that one there in the middle is your uh, yarn over. And then you've got your other with its wrap here. So as I say, on this side, that's a pearl. So you do that as normal and then find that knit stitch. And you just knit into it with that color. Create your, your yarn over. And then pearl the other one as normal and then carry on so you basically keep the same rhythm but obviously that yarn over in the middle is the one stitch that doesn't have a wrap yet you've just created it and incorporated it fully into the brioche stitch rhythm on this wrong side after the increase row and here we've got our point of change so swap the yarns over again you will find throughout this pattern that the yarns will gradually twist around each other. You can minimise it if you always make sure to change them over in the same directions, but um, it's pretty inevitable that you'll have to stop and untwist every now and again. And this was our decrease um, stitch, but there's nothing changed on this side. You just carry on the rhythm um, and purl it on the wrong side. It will be a knit on the right side. And there we go. That's pretty much how to work all the um, all the brioche uh, techniques in the pattern. There is one other special stitch, which is um, uh, which is the, the same increase stitch that I just showed you. But what you do is you work. Um, so you can see here now with this increased stitch, we've branched out. So we'll have a knit column here, a knit column here, and a new pearl column in the middle. So the one special um, unusual stitch, I suppose, at one point in this pattern is um, this one here. So what happens is you work the first knit of the increase with the gold color dominant and a black yarn over. But then instead of continuing how I've just shown you the increased stitch you yarn over with the black and then you work the second um, increase with the black as a knit stitch and a, and a gold yarn over and then you immediately swap back again to continue the established rhythm so that one's probably the most fiddly point in terms of yarn management but it still works exactly the same way you just need to um, be aware of which colors you're using and if you do use the yellow to do the yarn over it's not the end of the world but i just found it came out a bit neater if i used the black to do it and then as you can when you work the next increase you're working it out of the black column so it becomes the same rhythm again but instead you're doing the increases with the black because at that point you're decreasing these gold stitches so the entire pattern in the central section here is made up of just one type of decrease and one type of increase stitch and they will be paired across the row and that is how i'm doing the one pass syncopated brioche for the Moravian wrap